Hi, this is Andrew Collier from CollierMusic.com and we're here with another tutorial video today. This one is being created specifically for Brooke Hansen with the Prague Rock Orchestra because Brooke and I are going to be performing on the Moody Blues Cruise and the Yes Cruise to the Edge this year. So, Brooke, one of the things that you're going to have to do to get your Arturia to communicate with Sonar and control all your MIDI volumes for all these tracks is you're going to have to install something called the MIDI Control Center. Okay, now when you have MIDI Control Center up, it's going to look like this. And this is where we're going to do all the assignments for the sliders and the knobs and the buttons and all that stuff. <clears throat> and the way that you move the thing around is you click and drag. I'm clicking over here to drag the thing around. Now, before, and it says 49, but that's because over here, the 49 and the 61 are all exactly the same. The 61 just has more keys, so the, 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 the cover is the same. So to do this, um, to show you, I had to go through uh, uh, eight different emails back and forth with tech support because I, I was following the instructions on the installation card and I was having a problem. So I'm gonna take you through what you need to do so you don't have to do the same thing that I did that was such a pain in the butt and go through three different tech support people so they can actually fix my problem. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to this page, okay? Arturia.com, okay? If you, when you go to Arturia.com, you may wanna log in and you're gonna to go to downloads and I'm not exactly sure what the thing is, but if you go to arturia.com forward slash evolution, oh, here it is, downloads. See, here's downloads, and you would click on the update button. Okay, arturia.com downloads update, and this, it will take you to this page, arturia.com, whatever all this stuff is, okay? And then you scroll down, oh, and you, and. It will take you to this page where this this button updates is highlighted home downloads updates it'll take you right here and just right here you just scroll down a little bit you know MIDI control center update okay for your PC you click on this one okay and for the Mac you click on that one now when you click it it's gonna download and then you have to go down to your you have to go to your downloads folder and you can click on Windows Explorer if you're watching this video and for some reason you don't have the Windows Explorer icon here you press the uh, on your keyboard you press the flag it's two two keys to the left of the space bar is a little flag with a circle and this looks like the Windows flag with a circle and you press that button and you hold it down and you tap the letter E once and it's going to open this Okay, this is Windows Explorer. It's the same thing as if you click on this icon, it opens Windows Explorer. Okay, I'm going to maximize that screen. It should be in your Downloads folder. Okay, it's usually around here with your desktop. Downloads. All right, now I have tons of stuff in here because I've downloaded boatloads of stuff. Now you're gonna scroll down. You're not gonna have all this much crap in your in your folder, hopefully. And I'm looking for something that looks like Keylab 61 firmware update. Okay, that's what this is. Okay, so the zip, now your zip file may not look like, see with the little icons, with the little three little stacks of things, yours may look like a regular folder that's got a zipper on it, but I have a program installed that makes it look like that, okay? So yours is probably gonna look like a regular file folder with a little picture of a zipper on it. See, here's this Keylab 61 firmware update. Now, what I like to do, with stuff like this is I like to put it in my folder with the, all the other things that I'm working on. So with me, it's music stuff and my prog rock orchestra, okay? So I would click, you know, I would click and drag this into the prog rock orchestra folder. You don't have to do that, but it makes it really, makes it really organized, okay? Or, for, or if you like to do it by instrument, I mean, I have different folders for all my instruments, so for me, I already clicked and dragged it into the Arturia folder. All right. Now, when you get it in there, put your mouse over the over the zip file because it'll be a folder with the zipper on it, and you're gonna right click and just you'll click something. It'll be like extract 
all files extract here something it'll be like extract all is probably what you're gonna see so you write so how you do that you right click on this you click extract all or extract files and it will extract it to a folder that'll be like this because you unzipped the file folder all right double click on that to open it now you don't and uh, here is the actual instructions okay in a PDF on how to do it also I'm gonna forge you the email that has got other instructions I'm gonna show it to you right now okay so there you got that now your MIDI control center, okay? This link, arturi.com forward slash downloads MCCU. That is this. This is an, oh, this is just another way how to get it. MIDI control center, because we're looking for version 1.01. .01. Okay, this does the same thing. You just have to download the file. Okay, MIDI control center, MIDI control. Yeah, I don't know why the guy put both of these links in here. I guess he was trying to be thorough. All right, so you open the, now once you get it um, how to open the mini control center we click on device firmware upgrade so you can, you run it oh you have oh I know what it is that's the update okay the thing I just described to you is the firmware update but you actually that's the firmware is the operating system of the key lab 61 okay the MIDI control center is this. All right, and I'm just gonna be forwarding this to you. It's MIDI, arturia.com forward slash downloads forward slash MCCU. And it's this link right here. Arturia.com forward slash downloads forward slash MCCU. All right, now you want the most recent one, which is version 1.0.1, .1, this one right here. And it was also updated the most recently on January 17th of 2014. These are older ones, this is the newest one. Click on this link, because this .exe means it's the file that's gonna execute and install on your program, on your computer, okay? So when you install this, you're gonna install it. All right, when you install it, it's gonna show up over here. I won't show up there yet because you haven't opened it. So you have to go to all programs after you've installed it. All programs is it under Arturia. Yeah, it'll be under all programs, Arturia, MIDI Control Center. All right. And you'll click on it to open it. Although it should, instead of opening another instance, see, and I have two instances, and I'll close one of them. Okay. It's going to open this. All right. Now, it, you're gonna follow the instructions to, you're gonna use this to update the latest operating version of Keylab 61, which is the firmware. So, you open the MIDI Control Center and you click on device slash firmware upgrade, okay? So then you click on device, firmware upgrade. Now, I have the latest version, but that's what's gonna pop up, your firmware revision 1.33. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. A pop-up shows for confirm, let me close this. You can click, and just like it says, you click upgrade. I'll do it to show you how it works. And then you choose the firmware file that you previously downloaded, which means the thing you, other thing you downloaded, over here, remember you downloaded the firmware update so there's two things you're probably going to wind up downloading the new MIDI control center and install it. That's the first step and are the first thing that you could do. And then you're going to upgrade this firmware with your Arturia. I hope this isn't too confusing. So once you download and install the MIDI control center device, firmware upgrade. And if you click upgrade, it's going to, this thing's going to pop up. Okay. And this is where you would go to, where you actually just put this you need th you're trying to find this in this little teeny dialog box so uh, music stuff arturia there's the folder i downloaded and unzipped okay and you're going to click on that and you'll click open okay and you'll click open and then what you have to do is um uh it should be communicating with your key lab okay now if you have a problem it should it's going to talk to each other if you have a problem 
here's what you do. All right, when you, you wanna, if you, if you have a problem, and I'm gonna forward this link to you, and I'm also gonna forward this exact email to you that's got Arturi.com forward slash evolution forward slash KB forward slash question mark view equals entry and entry ID equals 182, which is this one right here. Now, um, you can always pause the video and you can see this exact link. So here's the thing. This is only if the key lab does not recognize by your MIDI control center. So then what you have to do is you have to switch to update mode. And the way to switch to update mode is you on the Arturia keyboard, you press sound plus edit plus multi at the same time, and then you turn it on. So you'll have to turn the keyboard off, press sound plus edit plus multi at the same time, and you'll reboot. And those buttons are right here. Sound, edit, multi. You'll turn the keyboard off, press these and hold them down while you turn the keyboard back on and the screen will start flashing like that it's in update mode. Okay, and then, you know, uh, you should be able to reboot, reboot it in update mode and it'll automatic, it should automatically update. And then when it's done, the, the version, the version of the firmware showing, check me in the corner, uh, you already did all that. You already did all that. The version, will be right here and mine reads mine reads uh analog experience key lab 61 version 1.33 it should read right here and i know that you haven't been having a problem playing your key lab and having sonar recognize it but we have to have it communicate with this midi control center because this is how we're going to get all the sliders to fade all your channels in and out okay so that's your next installation instructions, and I'll do another video on how to actually start doing the, the sliders and stuff. All right. Have a good man. Prague out.